Hello and welcome to Blissmos Academy. Today we will learn on how to download and install PySpark. Before we begin with the download process, let's learn what is Spark and what is PySpark. Apache Spark is a unified computing engine and a set of libraries for parallel data processing on computer clusters. What is PySpark? PySpark is a Python API written in Python to support Apache Spark. What are the prerequisites to install and run PySpark? I'll be telling you both hardware and software requirements. The hardware requirements you would need is RAM of minimum 8 GB, but 16 GB would be preferable. Hard disk should be of minimum 500 GB. Processor type should be 64 bit. You need to install Java 8 or above. You need to install Spark and Python as well. As part of this video, I'll be showing you how to download Java and Spark and Python as well. If you're still looking for more details, you can visit the Apache website. The link has been provided here. Let's begin with the download process. I will be downloading the PySpark in Ubuntu. So let's check whether we have Java installed or not. To check the same, you need to type the command Java version. It says Java not found, so you need to install the same. You need to give the command as sudo apt install default GRE. Enter. Sorry, it's default. Enter. Now you need to install the JRE sudo apt get install open JDK. 11 JRE enter. The next command is sudo apt get install open JDK 11 JDK. Sorry, it's 11 JDK. Now we can check whether Java has been installed or not. Again, Java hyphen version. Open JDK 11. So Java has been installed now. Once the Java is installed, we need to download the Spark now. Go to the browser. You to give as you can give as Spark download. That will take you to the Apache website. This is the latest version of Spark, Spark uh, 3.0 and the Hadoop is 2.7, which is okay. And uh, this is the download link, which we need to use for this download. Go back to your terminal, sudo su, that will take you to the root. Now you need to create a directory mkdir p 
OPT Spark. This will create a directory in the name of Spark. Hit enter. CD OPT Spark. This will navigate to the Spark directory. We will go uh, inside the Spark directory. Hit enter. As you can see, we are in the Spark directory or Spark folder. Now you need to give the command w get the Spark location, which where the file is located in the Apache website. You can give this link wget and spark link enter the spark file is getting downloaded now ls you can see the spark file has been downloaded however that is the file is compressed you need to uncompress the same you to uncompress you need to give the command tar xvf and the spark file name you need to provide here once the file has been uncompressed we need to update bash rc file for the same you need to open a new terminal so type as g edit dot backslash bash rc enter so in this file you need to link the spark file so this is how you need to provide spark home opt spark where the spark file is created and the spark name uh, the spark file name. okay and we are linking the spark file save the file Close the bash RC file. Now open one more terminal and you can check whether the Spark has been installed or not. You can give as Spark shell. The Spark has been installed. You can see the Spark version 3.0 here. Let's continue with the Python installation. Open one more terminal. You need to type the command as sudo apt install python3. The next command is sudo apt install python 3 pip now you need to again update the bash rc file with with linking the python so open the bash rc file g edit dot backslash bash rc export PySpark, python user bin and python 3. Save. 
close the file. Now open a new terminal and check whether PySpark has been installed. The PySpark has been installed now. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos and big data related courses, please visit www.blissmosacademy.com. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.